Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, Alright, welcome back to the Let's Play, guys. Last time, we took on the Pokemon World Tournament Drift Vale um, Cup, or whatever it was freaking called, and um, fought some Team Plasmas again. What is this? Route 6? Alright, cool. Um, seems like an interesting place. An item over there. I can't get to, though, because I never learned how to swim, I guess. Um, today, we're heading down Route 6. Yeah, it's a Deerling. It's a pretty cute Pokemon. Um, it's, it's one that I can train against, so, like... You know, I'm gonna kick its butt. But, um, it's a pretty cute Pokemon. Unfortunately, my moves are gonna be powered down right now. Shoot. <sighs> Darn. Growlithe needs levels, though. I have to fight everything I can right now. That just sucks. The rain sucks. Makes me wish I had something to change the weather. But I, I just don't. <sighs> Goddamn. I'm going to put on a repel because the wild Pokemon aren't giving me enough experience to worry about them. Um, just worry about trainers through here, probably. I'll probably end up having to do a little bit of switch training because my moves are going to be pretty weak. Takedown. That's rude. Really rude. All right, switch Pokemon. God. Ralph, come on, man. I am going to have to evolve him sooner than I wanted to, unfortunately. Uh, oh, cool. Great. So rude. Quick attack. Knock it out. Alright, let's... let's Maybe get a level for Lucario? Yeah, cool. Um, let's wear Bone Rush. Okay. Uh, what does that do exactly? I have a general idea. 25 up to 5 times in a row, 90 accuracy. So, 2 hits, it's our, it's slightly weaker than Bulldozer, but 3 hits, it's stronger. Lower accuracy, though, and this lowers speed. Which could synergize well with some of my other Pokemon. I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep Bulldoze. Probably a bad idea, but I'm, I'm gonna keep Bulldoze. Um, no. Yes. Cool. Growlithe did not level from that, of course. Alright. <sighs> Go do stuff. Alright. Uh, yeah, repels. Okay. Use a repel. And um, get moving. Are you a trainer? Can I battle you? I can. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Give me some experience. Because I did a ton of battling last time. And battling against Team Plasma, I got experience points. But um, battling the in the in the tournament, I got none. It was kind of annoying. Okay, stupid. The rain is stupid. See if I can do anything with dig, maybe. I don't know if a stab move is still gonna do more even in the rain than dig will, but you know, that's pretty good. That's fine. Stop that. That's rude. Multi-turn moves are so annoying too. Or multi-hit moves, right? You know, you know what I mean. Get it? Multi-turn moves are actually great. Like, like thrash and stuff. Doesn't matter. I knocked you out. It doesn't matter. You don't have to show me that game. Um, like thra thrash and even like outrage um, can actually be really good because um, then you know what's coming and you can plan for it. Let's uh, fire Fang. Since it's god damn it, since it's still super effective, it should um, do more damage than the dig will. I'm worried about getting knocked out in the next turn, though. At least I got something. I got something. It's fine. Uh, going to Zorua. I meant Sigilyph. Sorry, I meant I meant to say Sigilyph. Um, faint attack. I don't know. Get it. Knocked it out. Fantastic. Get my boosted experience. Really wish Crowleth got that. Make things so much easier. Hey, you are the perfect trial. I mean, come on, you're so strong. Yeah, I am I am pretty awesome. Um not really sure where I'm going from here. Um that that plasma stuff happened and then just kind of stopped happening. It was a, it was a little weird. 
This is just not a great place to train Growlithe. Maybe I'll focus on training other guys for now and then go train Growlithe on the next route. I'm pouring rain, fighting Pokemon. Alright. Nicole has a cast form, which is annoying in the rain. It's annoying in weather in general, but in the rain, you know. Go, Sigilyph! Even just random NPCs are catching up to my level. It's very disconcerting. Faint attack. Get it. Boom. Okay. You were expecting me to be a flying type, but I was not. I was, in fact, the dark type Zorua. Um, Fury Swipes. Just because I misclicked and, and picked it. <laughs> Water gun, alright. It's going to do stab. Not great. Um, switch to somebody else then. Duot, maybe? To tank the next water gun? Duot needs to do stuff anyway, right? Okay. Weird. Weird choice, especially in the rain. But sure. And you're still using it for some reason. Why? That's, that's so weird. That did hardly any damage. What the hell? Okay. A stab move would have been better. So weird. Bye. Ah, you're the sad melody of a total defeat. Yeah, you did get totally defeated. You love Zerua. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, looks like there's a couple ways I can go here. Um, that's just a fast way out, okay. Looks like this is the way to progress. A couple items here, too. So a couple of inconspicuous items that are right next to each other. How strange. Right, let's, let's beat this school kid and then go get surprised by a mushroom Pokemon. Go, Sigilyph! And, um... Yep. Let's uh, go faint attack. Kaboom. Okay. Cool. That poor deer deerling doesn't even get to know what Pokemon that actually was that just knocked it out. Wow. <laughs> that was nuts. I, I enjoyed it, though. Faint attack. Do that again. Just, just knock it out with one hit again. It's funny. Okay. Don't do that. That's rude. Very rude. <sighs> Taunt. No more of that. <laughs> and, um, faint attack. Stopped its yawn, too, which is good. Don't want any, any of that bullshit. Uh-oh. You've exposed my true identity as not Sigilyph, but the dark type Zorua. Get it. Again, I, I, it, it keeps reselecting the move whenever I undo the illusion, and I, I, I keep forgetting. Ugh. Now it knows my real type, though, which is annoying. Okay, doesn't really matter. Get it. Okay. It's cursing again, but at this point, it just straight up doesn't even matter. And come on. Yes, I know. Thank you. Come on. Get it. Beautiful. Taunt's actually good. I actually like Taunt now. I've decided. I never really use tricky Pokemon like Zerua, though. Let's learn Foul Play. Um, foul Play is 95 power, but it uses the opponent's attack stat, right? Hmm. Yeah, probably. I should probably give it instead of Feign Attack. Just because just it's the same type. I want the slot with Fury Swipes open for something else. 
I like Taunt. And Scary Face has been useful. It's not fair to use moves I wasn't expecting. Sorry. Um, I'll go around you. An elixir, cool. I wonder what that other item over there could be. What, what's over here? Is there anything? Okay, no, no, never mind. What are you? What item are you? Oh no, it is a Pokemon. It's a Fungus. There's Fungus Amoongus. <laughs> I love these things, they're so funny. Um, this is an area where foul play is not going to be great, but you know, because the thing's not an offensive Pokemon. Still did a lot of damage, though. That's good. That's real good. Ah! You thought I was the flying-type Sigilith, but I was, in fact, the dark-type Zerua. Which is why... I... God damn it. I just clicked again. God damn it. That's why your move did so much damage. Please knock it out. Dang it! Saru, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? I hate, I hate this. I just, God, I need to, I need to switch it so that my stab move is first. That's the solution here. It's Giga Drain, God damn. Uh, hate this. All right, let's um, shoot. Let's switch to my actual Sigilyph. Because Growlithe is still knocked out. I should have healed Growlithe and then just swapped my guys. That was stupid not to heal him. Ugh. Yeah, that's not going to do much, man. And, um... You know. As the kids say these days. Get wrecked. Boom. I don't know why I fought that. I didn't need to fight it either. And Zerua did get experience from that, so that's something. Do I have something to wake him up with? Um, no. Nope. Dang it. Um, let's go ahead and revive Growlithe, like I said. And just swap him, right? And, um, super potion him too, probably. And then go switch Zora out front and just hope that if I get into another battle, he wakes up. And, um, do that thing I said with his moves, because, you know. Um, I don't really need to train him any more right now either, but his, his HP is pretty low. Okay, so do that. Beautiful. Go save so that doesn't undo itself. And train him up, like, one more level, maybe. What level even is he? I don't even know. <sighs> Takes forever. God. God. Thank you. Writing in my diary. Taking my time. Okay. Oh, there's Charon. Hey, Charon. Oh, AJ. Can you come with me for a moment? To that big building that I was definitely going to go into anyway? Sure, game. Sure, I'll follow you in here. <sighs> no one really talks about it, but the records uh, show that uh, there was a sudden drop in temperature near uh, Lactunosa Town. It was only for a moment, but it went down as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Dear God. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded around Castelia City and Driftvale City. On top of that, that incident with Team Plasma. I think this needs some investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather, though. I'll give you this. That's not... That's not a reason not to do it. Um, give me Surf with this. Please go to different places and check what's going on. Let one of your Pokemon learn Surf, and you can travel across the water. Alright, sure. Bunch of those deerlings in here. I'm sorry to have slowed you down. Some strange things may be happening, so be careful on your journey. I mean, he'd know better than most that it's, it's like, new trainers that usually make most of the progress in saving the world, right? <sighs> now, you can see Deerling from all four seasons in our lab. When it comes to Deerling, we're sort of the experts. We found a rather rare deer Deerling. Will you raise it for us? What do you say? A rare deer Deerling. I'm never going to be... I, I'm always going to try to say Deerling, because I'm an idiot. Deerling. A rather rare Deerling. Sure. 
That sounds like fun. Let's do it. Cool. What's rare about it, I wonder? Um, let's, let's... Nah, I don't care. Let's, um... Ability is Serene Grace. Interesting. I was gonna say, let's get out my guide and then assess this thing and see what seems rare about it. It says this ability doubles the chances of getting a move's additional effect. That could be really useful. So there you go. That's gonna be our, our sixth Pokemon then. An entire team of, of all male Pokemon. How weird. Just entirely by chance. Um, scatters things often. Faint attack. Um, none of these moves are really good for that yet, though. I'll have to keep an eye out for better moves for you. Um, can you learn, like, strength or anything? Because I still need a strengther. Let's see what you can learn real quick. Um, this is the wrong tab. How do I sort this? Is there a way to sort this? It's, it's not that. Okay. God. I don't know. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Strength. Who can learn strength? Just out of curiosity. Yep. Lucario and Growlithe. Okay. It's fine. Um. Probably most of my guys can learn rest. Uh, most of them can probably learn return too. I don't know. I'll just keep an eye out for better moves. Um, I do need to teach Surf to somebody, though, so... Let's go ahead and use Surf. Um... It's gotta be... It's gotta be Duat, which sucks. I can't... I can't get rid of Cut. I never use Focus Energy. Whenever I set it up, it doesn't really do anything. I should have given Cut to somebody else, probably. It's fine. It'll be fine. Especially once Duat evolves again. Um, it, it won't really matter. I'll still be able to put out enough damage. I'll be right back. I need to check on something. My computer's acting very strange today. All right, no idea what that is. Why? Well, I know what it is. I don't know why it's doing it. It's very strange. Go ahead and save my game again. Because this is it. This is my full team now. I mean, they're not all fully evolved yet. But this is it. This is the team. I'm very excited about it. Um, let's get out of here. Can I use Surf yet? Is that a thing I could do? Oh, you're a trainer. Okay. Kind of expected you were just a guy who worked here. Testing out one's theory is all a part of science. Yep, that is true, but it's called a hypothesis. A theory is something that we're as sure as we can be about already. We're, we, we still test it, but not like the same way you do a hypothesis. It seems like you're actually talking about a hypothesis. Go, Deerling! Use that. Oh, you're it's asleep still. God. All right. Okay. Cool. Waste your turn. That's fine. Wake up, man. Come on. Wake up. Well, that's probably gonna knock me out. Yep. That sucks. out Growlithe. Maybe it can beat this thing. Dumb. This is so dumb. I hate jump kick. It's a ridiculously powerful move. Ugh. God. Um. So stupid. You guy really should try my dearling against his. It is a higher level after all. I don't know. Just these jump kicks are annoying me. They do enough that it's annoying. And then it has takedown, too, most of the time. So, like, I'm, like, doubly screwed. Because both of those moves are really dangerous. It's down, though. Dang it. Analyzing the current situation is also part of science. Yep, that is also true. Is there somewhere I can go to heal? Can I, like, heal in here? Please. Can I heal in here, please? Move. Will you heal me? No. Will you heal me? No. Will you heal me? No. God. Will you heal me? Okay. God. Mm. Do you heal me? Nope. Oh God. 
this is stupid. I don't want to go back to town. I'll just press forward. It's fine. Maybe this is like an extra revive that I can use instead of using one of the ones I've got. No, it's a moonstone. What a use useful item. <sighs> go use the revive then. Whatever. Down to two of them. I don't. I these. I wanted these to last a while. God. I'm almost out of super potions too. Stupid. I don't remember what moves that jiggling has either. Go look at that again real quick. Ugh. Let's see. Um, it does have faint attack, okay. Um, so like, I mean, I don't have faint attack anymore, but, you know, technically Zerua could realistically disguise itself as a thing. It's take down jump kick. Okay. Um, actually, hold on. What? It is part normal type, so take down does extra damage. Yeah, just boosts the likelihood of added effects, hap uh, added effects appearing. That wouldn't be stuff like like the recoil damage, though, right? That, that doesn't make sense. Okay, just wanted to look at the wording of that. Let's, um, fight you. Why not? Bring it on. I shall uncover the mechanism behind trainer and Pokemon relationships. That Colrus guy is trying to do that too. Maybe we should team up with him. <sighs> Bring it on. What do you got? Shelmet? I eat Shelmet for breakfast. Not really. Um, you probably could though. Like, like pull the squishy part out of the shell and eat it. Like, like a, like a mussel or something. Get it. Okay, sure. Now, now, now get it. Did way less than I wanted it to. All right, cool. Keep going. Oh, cool. Excellent. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. Deerling. Carrot last again. Um. Does Carablast know any fighting moves? I know it's evolution can learn fighting moves. No, it's Shelbit's evolution. This is... God, these things are weird, and I get them mixed up. Okay, get it. Knock it out. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Um, you exposed the truth. I was, in fact, the dark type Zorua. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Even I'm getting annoyed by it. Take it out, please. Beautiful. Zorua is actually pretty freaking strong. I'm enjoying this a lot. Why are Pokemon able to understand their trainer's orders? Um, I don't know. Language? Pokemon have language. It's just different from ours. Um, no, those are going to be mushrooms again. So let's avoid them. Um, I don't want to risk any of these. Fight me! Fight me, woman! What are fun with Pokemon? Do you want to play with us? I mean, technically, that's why I challenged you. Come on, bring it. She's real cute. Cast form. Guess they just all have freaking cast form? That's weird. Okay. Go, dearling wink. Rain cast form, of course. Uh, foul play, let's go. Kaboom. Didn't even do half. Okay. Trying to set up an ice type weather ball, maybe? Because it thinks I'm a grass type? Interesting. At least my illusion doesn't break from weather damage. Okay, no, it was just boosting its stab powder snow. Okay, that makes sense. But I was not, in fact, the grass type deerling. I was actually the dark type Zorua! <laughs> and, um, Fury swipes you in the face. Boom. Uh, very nice. Hey, I leveled up. Oh, I'm level 30. I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, okay, cool. Oh my, I lost. Yep, you did. And um, you're about to witness something pretty spectacular. <sighs> what? Zerua is evolving. I know it was pretty close to evolution level already, and it gets boosted experience. But this is pretty exciting, right? One more of my teammates, my teammates, 
team members, I guess, is um, fully evolved now. We're one step closer to having our final team. Wants to learn Night Slash, okay. Okay. 70. Um. Yeah. Just to have something that uses my stats, I think. Still want that Fury Swipe slot, though, for, like, in case another move comes along. Cobra! Uh. What? That's a Kubalion! What? That's Pokemon. It's a legendary Pokemon called Kabalion. I told you the story uh, the other day, right? Oh, Kabalion. What a noble presence. In day two, the three Pokemon Kabalion, Viseon, Verizion, and Terrakion fought against people to protect Pokemon from uh, the war those people started. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. But why did it show up in front of people? Is it patrolling the Unova region to protect Pokemon because it fears for their safety after the commotion caused by Team Plasma two years ago? Or does it sense a new problem? Unforgiv- or- Yeah, unforgivable, dear God. And so, the reach of Gethsus' ambition and malice is growing even wider and warping the lives of all it touches. Did Kabalion appear in front of you merely by accident, or to plead with you to solve a problem? Unlike Lord Anne, I don't have the ability to understand the minds of Pokémon. Therefore, I don't know what that Pokémon is thinking. But if you can befriend Kabalion, it will be a great asset to you on your journey. I'm not going to catch a legendary Pokémon. That's unfair, and also, the environments need them, and AJ doesn't actually know this, but... Um, that's the same Kabalion that Hero at this point has already caught. It's just he also caught a different um, Sacred Swords tree, or whatever they're called, the Three Swords, in a different region and um, only needed the ones from this region temporarily for research. So he actually let them go, and they've returned now. So even though they won't literally say, like, OT Hero, in my continuity, if AJ did catch that legendary Pokemon, and eventually she will decide to do that. Um, spoilers. I can't surf yet. Didn't think so. Um, it, it, she's technically catching one of Hero's Pokemon. Uh, Charstone Cave is great. The Pharisee and I... That met here were absolutely adorable. Alright. Is this like a rest stop? Because I'd like to heal. Can I... Can I, Yeah, this is, this is a rest stop. Maybe I should go to Celestial Tower in Route 7. Yeah. Oh dear, your Pokemon, somehow they don't seem well. Yeah, they, they look beat up. You should rest here for a little while. You can't go anywhere if you when you're not feeling well. Yeah, I can. Just not as easily. Dumb thing to say. Yep, cool. Um, I'm going to swap them now because, man, I don't think Zoroark needs... As much training as Zoroa did. Jeez. <laughs> Was not paying attention to its level and just looking at its health and like, yeah, I should give it one more level. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's good. Um. Deerling should go. Here, though. <laughs> okay. Now my weird uh, organization quirk is complete. Let's save here. And it uh, looks like Chargestone Cave is next. Which is interesting, because we've already heard a story about Chargestone Cave from seemingly an ex-Plasma member, about him and N. So I already kind of feel like I know this place, or AJ does, right? Um, but before we head in here, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode, guys. Um, I'm enjoying this game immensely. I'm going to save here, too. <laughs> so, but um, I'm enjoying this game immensely. I'm really liking how well, it's tying back to the events of the previous games. Like, Black and White, I think, are fine games. They're not great, but they're 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 good. The fact that, this, that these games tie back to them and show the aftermath of all the moral dilemmas and stuff and show the fractured Team Plasma and the different uh, methods and ideologies retroactively make those games better, and I'm really appreciating that. I hope you guys are, too.